Welcome to our video set on optimizing your PC. In this video, we'll explore three free utilities to help your PC optimization. In this video, I'm going to talk you through a number of free utilities that you can download and try out that can optimize your PC even more and can actually make the process of optimizing your PC very easy. And these pieces of software are popular and have good reviews, so you may want to download them and try them out and see how they work for you. Now, if I'm not familiar with the publisher of certain software, just to be on the safe side, I often download it at download.com because any software made available at download.com is guaranteed to be virus-free and spyware-free. So if you aren't familiar with the software publisher, you know you don't always know who you're buying from. So to be on the safe side, it's sometimes a good idea to go to download.com in the first place. And download.com also often has free versions and trial versions of software readily available, which is very beneficial. Okay, so here's the software. First of all, the first piece of software is Advanced Windows Care Personal. At this time, it's had around 4.6 million downloads, and it's had good reviews, as you can see. So you may want to download that and try it out and see if it benefits your PC even more. And they say here the only limitation is a nag screen, which essentially means a screen that keeps appearing, perhaps to ask you to register. Then another piece of software is CCleaner. Not as popular, but still doing pretty well. Just under 4 million downloads and good reviews again. It's a similar piece of software, so you may want to download it and try it out as well. Okay, those are pretty standard, and I'm not going to cover them in any more detail in this video. You can download them if you want and try them out on your computer. However, the next piece of software is a little bit more involved, and it can be overwhelming because it has an awful lot of technical settings. If you just go to download.com and search for TCP Optimizer, you can download it there. and it's had good reviews again. It's not quite as popular as the others, but I've used it myself, and I find it's worked well. So, okay, if you download that, and I'll do a quick demonstration of how you can use that software. Okay, here's how it looks. So what I do first of all is, in general settings here, connection speed, I drag the slider all the way over to the right. And I choose Optimal Settings. And make sure you specify the correct network card or modem. And OK, this appears to be a driver for an old modem which I no longer use. So we want to click on the network card I have in the computer. So drag the slider over to the right. Choose the network card. Choose Optimal Settings, and Apply. Then it prompts you and lets you know what you're going to change. And you can do a backup, and I suggest you do that. So here are the backup files here, and I'll come to those in a moment. Now, these changes are to your Windows Registry. And what the registry is, Basically, it's a database that stores every single setting for every single piece of software. And there are probably tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of settings in the registry. So obviously, it's not a good idea to edit it manually because it's hard work, and also you can potentially cause problems if you edit the wrong thing. So whereas certain software like this makes editing and optimizing the registry quick and safe, I still suggest that you do a backup of the changes. And OK that. OK, that's done. 
Would you like to reboot for changes to take effect? No, not right now, but I can reboot later for the changes to take effect. What you can also do is go to this tab, Largest MTU, and you can start a test. And OK, the test is running. And at the end, it says you can set your MTU to 1500. And that value here is what you would place back in general settings here. And in this case, I don't need to make any changes. But let's apply changes, even though I've already done that. OK, it's asking me again, and let's OK that, and no. OK, then you reboot, and hopefully your connection will be even faster. I found it didn't make a massive difference, but it did make some difference to my connection, so it's definitely worth trying to see if it benefits your connect. But again, do make a backup of whatever you do so you can restore the original settings if need be. And if you need to do that, go to File, Restore Backed Up Settings, And I've run this software a number of times, so I have a number of different backups. And you can just choose one of them. For example, first backup. And then open if you wish to do that. Then you're asked again if you want to apply changes. I'm going to cancel because I'm going to stick with my new settings. But that's how you can easily restore the original settings if you so choose. So those are three free pieces of software that can help you optimize your PC even more and make the whole process quick and easy.